Now you just heard me play my version of Arms of Mary by Leo Kotki. And I got the tap from the Tap Picks organization, well, org website. And um, there's also a link to my website where I placed my version, which is what I found on the Tap Picks site. And I uh, corrected some things, well, changed some things to my liking. We're in open G tuning. strings to D and your A string to G. And here's the introduction. Simply fourth fret, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, and then I move the chord up. And then starts, well, the first section. Tap index, that's bar five. Going down. And then you're gonna use your pinky. I think that's the easiest solution for the fourth fret of the fourth string and that's the last beat of the fifth measure. And then in the sixth measure I'm adding the index to the second fret of the fifth string. And this is the easiest way you bar strings three and four and then you add the third finger to the fourth fret, the sixth string. If you would play it like this, then you're gonna have trouble getting that sixth string. So those bars one more time, bars five and six. Sorry. And notice that I'm sometimes using flesh slightly tilting my tap and adding a bit nail. It's almost the same as uh, the fifth bar, but I'm adding the thumb here on the second fret, sixth, sixth string. Double stops there. Moving up to the fourth fret, third string, and then sliding to the ninth fret, slow slide. You can do that with a bar, of course, but what follows is easier if you do it this way, simply using your three fingers. I'm leaving my third finger on the fourth string and going down for the ninth bar. Using three fingers, one for each string and the thumb, and the reason, I got a little slide there, very subtle, going down. Two, of course, going down with the index. Sorry, hammer roll, pull off, sliding down, and with the third finger, I'm going to the fourth fret, fifth string. 
same figure. And then we start again. Introduction again, bar 13. Bottom of the first page, bar, bars 17 and 18. Leo uses his finger like this use these slides. I find it easier to use my two fingers, especially when you watch bar 19. There it uh, becomes easy and almost mandatory to do that. And he slides, he does this. I, write, I rather pick it because it's, well, it messes my timing. Last bar of uh, first page, bar uh, 18, is a partial bar chord. You leave open the sixth string. And then again to the 12th fret, second page, bar 19. fret bar 19 and then you add the bar at the ninth fret going down and going down to the fifth fret open you can do the slide of course with your index I use my third finger then bar 22, my fingers are already in place to grab the little chord there. That was bar 22, and again. And here I added a little bar in bar 26. A little uh, beat, I mean. Ending in bar 28 there. So one more time from bar uh, 25. the third section I do something completely different than what Leo does. Leo plays some impossible bar chords here and I kept it simple and did like this. So I'm talking about bar 31. third string there move up on the fourth string to the eighth fret you can release that uh, fingering here so you can do that pull off better Down, no 
normally you would use your index finger but then barring the flow is stopped so I use my <coughs> second finger to do that slide down so bar 34 and now I change and to the bar bar 35 time from bar 35 that <clears throat> bar chord and now I add my third fingers a bit up maybe and then a pull off index and pinky Moving the index to the fourth string and the second finger to the first, second string, bar 38. Going down with the in, with the pinky, and then a quick bar. And now we're back at the beginning. Slide up and form what well, it looks almost like uh, an inverted uh, diminished chord. it for arms from Mary very beautiful tune and not that difficult to play have fun <laughs>